Hello and welcome back to MeisterTask. In this video tutorial, I'm going to go through everything you need to know about tasks and how to work with them. I've already logged into MeisterTask and opened my sample project. Now, I simply click on a task tile here in my project board and the task detail dialog opens. On the left, you can see the task title and right underneath, space for a description or notes, which you can add simply by clicking into the field. You can also paste website URLs into this section and as soon as you hit enter, they will turn into clickable links. Next are checklist items, which you can use to break down a big task into smaller individual steps. You can add as many items as you want. Just click on the plus button, write, and press enter. And again, write, enter. Later, you can check those items off one by one, move them up or down, or just delete them. Below the checklist is space for attachments, which you can either upload from your local hard drive or your connected Google Drive, Dropbox, or MindMeister accounts. In the task activity stream, you can leave comments. This is a great way to communicate with other team members about the progress of a task or ask questions. Let's say I want to ask my colleague for her opinion. She's not actively watching this task, so in order for her to see my comment, I need to mention her, which I do by putting an at sign in front of her name. And there's her answer. Now I can send another reply or simply like her comment with this button here. All right, let's talk about adding tags to our tasks. Tags are a way to categorize your tasks or mark them, for instance, as urgent. You can define individual tags for each new project. To do this, I simply follow this link, which brings me to the tag register in the project dialog. Here, I can add as many tags as I want. When I'm done, I'm brought straight back to my task, where I can now add one or multiple tags from the list. Then, I set a due date. If I want to focus on the task even before it is due, I can also click the star button here in the top bar to manually pin it to my dashboard widget. The top bar of the dialog also holds a number of other important options. I can move the task to another section or project, trash it, assign it to someone else, or complete it. Trashed tasks immediately disappear from your project board, while completed tasks are marked with a green check mark. This is in case you're working with a project board like this, where you keep completed tasks in a done section to see what you've already accomplished. If you don't want to keep the completed task in your project board, just open it again and select Archive this task. So, this is what you can do with tasks. Thanks for watching, and be on the lookout for more MeisterTask tutorials.